and we bought from the Faith Academy. Yes, and you are looking at the Faith Academy Hydroponics Greenhouse. Um, it's a project funded by IDB, the um, Ministry of Economic Growth and the Environmental Foundation of Jamaica. And before we even go any further, we really want to thank them for investing in us, in the community of Bonnygate. This project is a blessing to the community and we, are, we have hired 10 persons part-time who are benefiting economically from the project and we and the training the training opportunity has been phenomenal um you're looking at our lettuce we're doing mixed lettuce um it's grown in a hydroponic system mainly water-based and uh, we have about 11 varieties and they're very beautiful very tasty very delicious very nutritious and um, they're a joy to work with <laughs> and so my husband is showcasing some of the varieties we have the new red fire there here we have um, red oak leaf um, very very delicious one this is red buttercup oh, yeah. this is showing you more of it yes and we have the green salad bowl. We have the um, red romaine. Um, quite a lot. We have the green buttercup. Uh, pretty little one here. Dark red lola rosa. Oh yes, and we have the bigger dark red lola rosa. Yes. <laughs> and then we have the um, tango here. Yes. Were there any challenges? Oh, this project now has had its share of rewards, yes, and also its challenges. Um, our, pro our product is not a traditional one per se, so it's like a niche market that we're going into. Um, some of the high-end hotels and um, supermarkets are the ones that we supply to. Um, so going in at first, we were a little bit ill-advised. And so we had planted our entire house all at once. We were not able to sell everything, but we, I'd say, break, broke even. So we had about half of the house sold, um, some donated. Um, but since then now we have a good concept of what the product weighs, how much each rack holds. And so we are now supplying weekly with less um, wasting and um, good quality lettuce. All around. We started out with these Gross. slender ones, and then we had problems with sometimes the, 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 the fertilizer probably would block, and so we'd, we'd be here thinking that water was going through the lines, but there was no water going through the lines, mm -hmm. and so we changed them out ourselves and put in some, some, some bigger, bigger pipes. pipes. So now we didn't so have any problem, know. good flow of the water. Right. Yeah, so So at first we had to be monitoring it like it was a baby. But now we can just about go for the entire day and we are sure that everything is okay. Okay, so how does the system work, Sander? Explain it to me. Okay. Um, these are the stock tanks. Right. That um, carries a concentrated fertilizer. Tank A, tank B. So um, that's the 200 gallon that we had two of it we diluted right mm -hmm. so two gallons of the tank a into it and two gallon of the tank b into the 200 gallon then we send it to the sump mm -hmm. um, and the, the, there's a pump there sat on top of the sump so it takes the water the fertilizer water send it to these two drums up here, there's a switch inside here that when it, the drum is full, the switch turns it off. But the water constantly running through the pipes to feed the roots of these lovely lettuce that you're looking at. And it runs for the entire day yeah. until perhaps after five or six in the evenings, we um, turn off all the, yeah. the valves so the plants are not fed at night. They get to rest and grow they grow overnight so it's very manageable now I can set it in the morning and it can keep me right through the day 
until um, we come and turn off the entire system. Yeah, so the pump will run for at least like seven minutes to mm -hmm. eight minutes and um, pull the tank and then it give it a break until about six minutes and then it's, it's a cycle. Yeah. Yeah. So the whole thing is a recycling system so um, conservation of water takes place as well. Yeah. House? Alright, so in terms of the budget for the house, this was not initially put in into the what, the material and equipment part of it. However, because we had um, some funds for the production, the, the hydroponic production, we had to use some of that to construct this because for you to have a good house, you've got to have a good nursery. This is the heart of the project, even though it's not the part that we would we'd be drawn to first. But this is where you produce good seedlings, and then good seedlings give you good, good lettuce. Okay. And so we have them at different stages as well in the house. So this set should be ready to go in another week because this one is being fed by fertilizer. It's fed um, from the bottom, bottom feed. So we turn on the valves here and the water flows on the mat. It has a capillary action, so it waters the plant throughout the day. Um, depending on the heat, we'll water it once or twice for the day.